to today's class by Advanced English Language Academy. This is Yasin, your English language instructor. Today we'll be talking about human moods. So just let me make it clear for you that we'll not talk about the psychological meanings of these words because the words like sad, upset, worried, anxious, depressed, these deals with the psychology of human beings and mood what is mood basically mood depends on what is going on in your brain in your mind so i don't know whether it is our mandate to talk about these terms so just i'm just making it sure that we are not talking about the psychological meanings or the psychological uh, we're not just discussing the psychology of these words we're just discussing the meanings of these words okay so mood what is mood mood means that I, I tell you that what is going on in your mind or in your head so your mood will be according to what is going on in your mind your mood will be according to that for example something is good in your life so your mind will be relaxed you'll be happy so we will just talk about the negative aspects of human moods right okay or uh, when or when things are not going in our favor when things are not going in our way so first of all sad sad means something serious has happened something very serious happens god forbid god forbid god forbid someone someone's father passes away or anyone else death is always a serious thing and death is always um, it, it's n never a good thing okay people are people miss those who die so she was so sad over her father's death now death is so serious I told you that something very serious has happened to someone so you say she or he is sad or I am sad Let's suppose I failed my papers, I failed my exams, so something very serious has happened. Or when people break up, it is also serious nowadays. Particularly in Asia, it is very serious. So people feel sad when there occurs a breakup, okay? So something serious happens. Upset. Upset your mood is off due to something has done something wrong to you okay due to someone's behavior your mood is off due to someone's behavior someone has done something wrong to you i was so upset over her behavior i was so upset or i am so upset over over her behavior so now she has done something wrong to me Okay, my mood is off because of someone else's behavior. So when someone does something wrong to you, uh, someone just like, you know, someone causes trouble or you expect him or her to behave uh, with a good manner and she or he uh, behaves with a bad manner, so then you become uh, upset. So upset basically means when someone has done something wrong to you, okay? Worried, worried, future anxiety or you, we can say that it's a, it has a solution. The difference between anxiety and worry, uh, anxious and worried, worry has a solution. For example, if someone is worried about his or her exams, so she can study for her exams, he can study for his exams. Now anxious it is it is for a short time uh, for example uh, something is happening in your life you have a paper tomorrow and uh, you have prepared for it but there is an anxiety anxiety means for example I don't know how will the staff be like I don't know how will they behave with me I am afraid of going to halls so there'll be some psychological pressure that psychological pressure when a person is in that that kind of psychological pressure so he's called anxious now worried 
uh, as I told you, that a person is worried about something, so he can, he or she can solve his or her problem. For example, I'm worried about my future, so I can change my future by working today, by changing my priorities today, by doing some business. I can change my future because I'm worried about my future. I'm worried about my exams, so I can study for my exams. I can prepare well. But anxiety is uh, most of the times it does not exist. Uh, but still, it is uh, um, a mental condition when a person is afraid of something. When a person doesn't know why, sometimes he doesn't know why, but he takes the pressure. Just like, for example, I'm making this video and I'm anxious. And I'm thinking that um, I shouldn't make a mistake. I'm, I, I am thinking that my viewers may catch my mistake. So these are just, uh, this is anxiety. I'm anxious basically. Why? Because I, I am just taking pressure. So when there is a pressure kind of situation, so then you are anxious. Depressed when anxiety just becomes long, when uh, your anxiety lasts longer. For example, you have been feeling anxious for once. Well, uh, one two three years and your anxiety doesn't go and at first it is for the sh for a short time but when uh, it becomes the part of your life and you are anxious for a long time so then it becomes depression right so for example uh, today I am afraid of examination hall tomorrow I'll be afraid of going to bank and then I'll be afraid of crowds and then slowly and gradually I'll be breaking my relationship with the society so and uh, I'll be I, I won't be able to go to marriage parties so then uh, when I go to isolation or, or solitude so <coughs> excuse me so then uh, I'll be depressed 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 means when your anxiety uh, lasts longer and you do not overcome it at first it is for the short time but when you you do not overcome and you don't control it so it becomes depression right thank you wish you all the best ta ta for now